Hi, uh, so, so when you're a software engineer, lots of times you're not just programming software or you're not just doing something technical. Um, for example, if you have to do maintenance on a server or you have to deploy new software or you have to upgrade a web application, you have to know the best time to do it. And sometimes it's different for every customer because the software that a customer is using uh, you know they, they might be international so you, you might have people in different time zones so you want to know the best time sometimes to do your task and this video I'm going to show you how to analyze um, so, uh, whatever task you're analyzing that is time based and be able to separate it into time of day so that you can make a best decision on you know what time to best deploy your software or what time to best uh, do a server maintenance or it might not even be any of those cases it might be how you want you want to know how your clients or customers use the web application or use the software so um, what I have in front of you is kinda of like a time of day so you'll see in the bottom here there's a time of day separated every 15 minutes and on this right hand side there's the day of the week so that you could filter for example only by say weekends so you want to see how busy weekends are or you, you want to have, see how busy uh, the first day of the week is for example um, or you, you have to make another type of decision and you could also filter say by month because you know certain months are more busy than others uh, so I'm gonna show you how to do that but I I wanted to show you the end result of uh, some of this uh, whatever I'm doing here so uh, let's get started so I, I have here um, just dates that represent some type of task it could represent how often customers log in or it could represent how often customers upload pictures or how often customers tweet um, so it, it could be anything generic and, and it'll be in whatever context you want it to be in but uh, here I have a sample size of 8,000 rows and these are just simply raw dates um, exported from SQL Server and what I'm going to do is I'm going to round each date to uh, the next 15 minutes. So you'll notice uh, okay I just had to fix this uh, formula here. So um, I took these dates and I'm going to separate them into uh, four other categories of uh, visualizing the same data so this is a date I'm gonna round it to the upper um, next 15 minutes and the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm, I'm trying to get a count of the frequency of how, how much something occurs uh, in a very small time span uh, in this case I wanna be kinda like uh, every 15 minutes because there's only so, so that I could kind of condense the amount of data into four data points uh, 15 minutes per hour uh, per hour is four times uh, whereas if if I left it at 42 43 or 0 1 0 2 0 8 16 there's gonna be 60 data points every hour so here I'm rounding up to the nearest 15 minutes here I'm separating the data to the month of the day and then this is the day of day of the month and then this is the day of the week so you'll see I'm gonna you'll see here all of these are rounded to the next 15 minutes I'm just gonna copy all of these down and um, I'm gonna use a pivot table to interpret this data so the first thing I'm going to do is I, I want to figure out, for example, you know, what's the best day of the week for that I should be uh, doing my maintenance cycle or 
you know, what's the busiest day of the week normally per customer. So I'm going to select all the data points here, click on insert, and I'm just going to say pivot table. And I'm going to say insert to new worksheet, click OK. And this is where the easy part comes in is I simply choose I, I simply choose and drag the things I want so if I want the row labels to be day of the week and I want to filter on month and I want my rounded time to be counted as the labels but actually in this case I am gonna put my rounded time here as counts for how many times a certain thing happens at every day of the week um, so you'll see here that if, if I wanted to figure out what's the best day of the week I should do my maintenance or I should do my upgrade I actually have metrics or I actually have real data that shows wow you know Sunday is the best day be because um, on a Saturday it's five times that amount um, and remember lots of times especially these days an application is international so you might have to d depending on what company you're serving or you know if your application is truly global you you might want to take that into account so for example if this company was in uh, China and I'm in America I might want to factor in the, the 12 hour time difference um, so this is a quick way of kind of showing okay this is the best day of the week uh, to to um, you know do a deployment uh, let me go further and do the graphs because this is really um, traffic on weekdays now for example if, if I actually wanted it by month notice what I can do here if I drag the months here notice now I have the count by month so my busiest month so happens to be June uh, where, where I had uh, 2,259 occurrences of a certain thing uh, so so this is how easy it is when you're using pivot tables now if I wanted to do a graph on the time of day let me label it as, as day of week and I'll do another one here that's called time of day so I'm gonna do a pivot table here or actually let me do a pivot chart of time of day and so I am gonna choose rounded time here as my above label day of the week or you, you'll notice this isn't exactly what I want I actually reverse what I want it so I'm gonna put this here and this is more to what I want it and I want the single singular counts of each occurrence so I'm gonna use my rounded time as the value so you'll see now that this is the graph that I get but this is really a bar graph so if I choose my chart type, you know this I, I choose a line graph here. So now I now you'll see I, I do have a graph of when things occur at a particular time, and you'll notice 3 a.m. and 3:30 a.m. is actually the least amount of traffic in this area. So I might want to do my maintenance here or software release here. Um, However, if I wanted to know, say, the best days, I could filter by Saturday and Sunday, and you'll notice, um, you know, these are days and times that certain events occur on Saturday and Sunday. Um, 
or if I wanted to just visualize how busy the weekdays are I can do this so but uh, for the most part that's uh, basically it um, also here if if certain things are seasonal I can choose to view things in that perspective so if I if I for example if I think okay um, in the summer months certain things might be busier you know to in order to validate or compare and contrast I might want to do that um, or in certain summer months uh, you know based on the time of day certain things don't happen as often so um, but for the most part this is what I wanted to show you a quick and dirty way of actually analyzing uh, traffic you know whether your traffic whether you define traffic as um, you know logins or uh, you know software up uh, you know software downloads that the customer is doing or image uploads or stuff like that um, and sure you could use Google Analytics but sometimes uh, you really do have to analyze your particular business scenario so alright uh, thank you for watching